Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is, let's draw an alphabet donut for the letter Q. I start off right here in the middle and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, connect. Inside, we're going to write an uppercase Q. So I draw a circle, curve line, and a little straight line at the bottom. And then halfway, I'm going to draw a curve line, straight line, down. Now, I take a wavy, wavy, wavy line and go all the way around my donut hole and connect. I take three fingers in the middle at the top and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a big curve line down, around, over, up, and connect. Now we're going to start right here at the very top, and I want you to draw me a straight line, curve line, straight line up. Come to the bottom and draw a straight line on the left, and a straight diagonal on the right. Come back to the left and add a wavy, wavy, wavy line. Connect. Inside, we're going to put little baby circles. One, two, three, four, if you have room. If you don't, no problem. Come back to the top on the left and draw a slightly curved line. Connect. Starting right here at the left. Straight diagonal up on the left. Straight diagonal up on the right. Come back to the left. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Connect. If you have room, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. Again, if you have room on the inside, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. Right here in the center, put a little dot, wavy line to the left, wavy line to the right. Come back to the left and go wave, well, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line out, connect on the left and on the right, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Come inside and put one dot, two dots, and then I put one, two, three, four, five little straight lines on the left, one, two, three, four, five little straight lines on the right. Straight line in the middle, curve line, little curve line, little curve line. This is a queen. Q, U, E, E, N. Now, the letter Q is kind of strange because the beginning sound always has a U next to it for qua, qua, queen, qua. All right. Let's go down to the right hand side, watch what I do. I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, curve line down, and stop. Put a little straight line going out on the top, and we're going to mimic the line we just drew. Straight line up, curve line over, keep going, curve line little straight line at the bottom connect. Underneath that we're going to draw a baby circle. And this is a question mark. Qua. Q. U. E. S. T. I. O. N. Mark. M. A. R. K. Question mark. Qua. Queen. Qua question. Now I move over to the bottom and I'm just going to draw a circle. And right here at the top, I'm going to mimic that line and draw a little curved line around. Inside, if you have room, you can put little straight lines. Okay? Inside the circle, 
I'm going to write a number two and a number five because this is a quarter. Q U A R T E R. Quarter. And that's 25 cents. If you can put a little symbol, you can. Now I come over to the left and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line across, wavy, wavy line down, wavy, wavy line across, wavy, wavy line connect. Now I'm going to do it all over again. Come up a little bit above and draw me a wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, connect. Inside, one, two, three straight lines going across one, two, three, four straight lines. We have just made a quilt qua Q U I L T. Beginning sound qua queen qua question mark qua quarter qua quilt. Now, as always, let's draw a wavy, wavy, skinny, mini line all the way around our words and pictures. Do not draw through your words. Do not draw through your pictures. And that's to make the cake part of our donut. Because the words and the pictures are the frosting on the donut. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, for my queen, you can color her hair any color you want, but I was thinking Snow White, so I was color I colored her hair black, and then I gave her purple jewels. Those are all the little baby circles. Again, you can choose any colors you want. I gave her little pink cheeks right here and here, and then I had some skin color, so I think I used apricot or peach. But if you don't, you can just leave it white. And I made her crown yellow. So that's my queen. Qua queen. Then I came down to my question mark. Qua question mark. And I made that red. I came down to my quarter. And it's metal, so I made it gray. But if you don't have gray, you can color it light black or just leave it alone and then on my quilt I did a pattern of <clears throat> excuse me of sorry yellow I did an A B A B pattern so every other square I did yellow and then I filled the next square in the B with blue-green or turquoise and then to go all the way around the edge I use pink just to add a pop of color just to add a pop of color then the last thing I always do is color the skinny mini little line around the letters this is the donut hole and then I draw skinny mini all the way around the brown of the cake of the donut. Very carefully, take your time. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my alphabet donut for the letter Q, qua, queen, question mark, quarter, quilt. Okay, bye-bye.